You guys have been asking me for all the hair details, so I'm here to deliver. I'm here to finally do a sit down talking about my hair because I've gotten so many questions pretty much the entire month of July asking me for hair details, what's going on, is this sewing, is this a wig? If so, we want to know how you lay it to give this like natural look that we have going on. So as you guys know, I recently big chopped my hair and I'm starting on a natural hair, healthy hair journey. So I wanted to put my hair away, give it time to grow and regain its strength and be beautiful again. So my pretty much my only option right now is wearing wigs. So it was very important for me to find a wig that was natural, would suit me, would compliment me. And I think we have found the one. Hair Baby sent me another unit for me to share with you guys. So we're going to be unboxing her, installing her, and I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to go from here to here. And it's one of those wigs, you guys, that you can really wear straight outside the box. The unit that I'm currently wearing, though, is the April. Um, I will have the details for this unit down below in case you wanted to shop her. But I did dye it jet black because jet black hair is my signature. But I also wanted to share with you how easy it is because a lot of you are concerned, like, girl, is this easy to do because I know nothing. I also know nothing. I'm still very much learning but it's really that easy. So with that being said, let's jump right into the video. So your unit will come packaged beautifully in this gorgeous box. And I love that they put a little bit of effort into making their package feel like such a luxury. But to get into the box, there's just a lot of like info sheets just to kind of help you um, understand about the unit a bit more and just get the best out of it. There's also a card that comes in here, which I just think is so nice. A really nice touch. Also, it says here, if you run into any issues, feel free to reach out. So I really love that aspect. I love when people put a bit of effort into their packaging. So in this little pouch, you're gonna get these weight clips, which I'm actually obsessed with. They make the installation process so easy. And then it also comes with this comb. Now onto the main event. So your unit is going to come in this really beautiful satin bag, which comes in handy for when you're storing her. The lace is actually so beautiful straight outside the box. Like, look at that, you guys, under on top of my hand. You can barely tell where the lace stops and begins. So the color is kind of like that 1B shade. Um, I like my hair jet black, but for those of you who like this color, I'm then going to install as is. Hair is really bouncy, but yeah, let's get ready to install. So I like to start off with a stocking foot cap just to protect my hair underneath. Wear a black one and not a brown one because the wig has a fake scalp, so you can't see the black um, stocking foot cap through this. So this is why I love the fake scalp because you could really just wear a black cap or just wear your natural cornrows hair, doesn't matter. Also, this is the inside of the unit. As you guys can see, we have a comb. We have a comb on each side, so right and left. We also have a band at the back as well as a comb. So the first thing I like to do is I like to take the strap and I'm just going to put this over my head. Then I'm going to flip my hair over. And this is what we're looking like, just putting the unit on our head. I just need to flatten this and we're good to go. That's how natural and easy their units are. But I'm gonna zoom you in so you guys can see what the lace looks like up close, what everything is looking like at the top here. You guys are extremely zoomed in right now because I want you to see exactly what this lace looks like up close and personal as you would with your naked eye. Do you see this hairline? Again, pre-plucked to perfection. The lace matches my skin beautifully. My previous unit, I went with the mocha lace, but I definitely think the cappuccino is the way to go. I am absolutely so in love. I actually thought I was gonna wanna dye this, but I'm not going to dye it. I love this natural color. Now this is the part that I feel like a lot of people dread. It's the gluing down of the units. You guys are probably like, girl, I cannot do that myself, but you can. So first I'm going to detangle the hair. Once the hair is detangled, you wanna go in with your clips. I like to put a little piece of it to the front here 
just because I feel like it makes looks a little bit natural. Now on to my favorite part, but also the most terrifying part because this part really does make or break your unit. Time to cut the lace. Now, some people do prefer to cut their lace after they've glued it down, but I like to do it before, so we're gonna just do that now. To start off, going straight up like where my part is, and I kind of just stop there. Now it's really hard to see because this lace literally looks like my skin. And you don't want to cut a straight line, okay? You just want to do zigzag motions. I'm leaving this sideburn part because I do actually have sideburns. So in order for this frontal to look realistic on my hairline, um, I need to have a little bit of sideburn here, but I'm not going to do anything. I'm not going to do baby hairs or anything. I'm not into that. So this is now what we are working with. Now that our lace is cut, we're going to go in with the glue. So I don't actually use an actual glue. I use a, just a very strong holding spray. I use the Ibin melt lacing bond extreme firm hold supreme thing here and i like this because when i wash my face to remove my makeup by the end of the day this just comes right out and the wig comes off easily there's no pulling there's no tugging i'm not losing my edges everything is good this is the close-up okay. now we're going to go in with the band i'm just going to tie it down making sure that those sideburn tabs that we created earlier are out, are out to the front. Now this is the part where you're melting, so make sure that band is on tight enough for the glue to kind of, you know, do its thing. Now it's time to style the hair. So I'm not gonna get rid of too much of the curls that comes in it because I'm really like feeling this. I just wanna flatten the top, make it look way more natural. And I like to take a wax stick and I just like to press it or paste it down. I'm gonna take my straightener and I'm just going to just flatten going downwards. I'm not going down to the end end because I don't want to again get rid of the natural curls that came in the hair at the very top i like to use my hot comb side that I flattened clearly and then this is the side that we still need to do so I'm gonna do this side really quickly okay we're done flattening the hair now it's time to take off the band so I would say I've had it on for maybe 10 to 15 minutes now so once you take your band off you should be all melted Now the even spray does tend to leave a little bit of white residue on your hairline, very minimal, but you can fix this with makeup or you can just go ahead and just use a wet rag, like a damp rag, not drenched because it's going to lift the glue. Wipe it and it will come right up. This is the lace close up and oh my goodness, I am really loving the cappuccino fake scalp. I think it looks so much more natural than my mocha and another tip before i leave is to help make your wigs look more natural even though it already is is to avoid like having your wig like pressed down as it is on this side i find that this looks more wiggy than this side you see how we have that natural like little oomph at the top it looks so much more natural so how i achieve that is by taking the hot comb and kind of just basically just combing backwards but also combing back and up. You're gonna have that little hump at the, the top of the head that looks so much more natural. All right guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. All the links can be found in my description box below.